So at the Battle of Pharsalus, our boy Caesar has, here has a really big problem. Before he can go back to Rome and take complete control, he has to deal with Magnus Pompey at the Battle of Pharsalus, right? And as the battlefield is laid out here, you can see that Caesar is at a huge disadvantage. He has fewer men, about 22,000 to Pompey's 36 to 45,000. And the cavalry, right? Pompey's cavalry outnumber his 5,000, 7,000 to his 1,000. Now, this is the battlefield before it begins. On the one side here, you can see there's a river that I drew in blue. So Caesar knows that once the battle begins and his legions begin advancing, he knows what Pompey's strategy is, right? He knows that what Pompey plans to do is have his superior, is have his superior cavalry smash through Caesar's cavalry and then create a sort of uh, flanking position, right? He's going to roll through Caesar's legions that are engaging on his men, sort of like this. That's Pompey's plan, right? So our boy Caesar here has to come up with a way to neutralize this, right? He needs to neutralize this threat, come up with a way to counterattack this. So that's what I'm going to go over in the full length video. 